What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to Chaos Scooter Motor Vlogs. Uh, actually, let me just put on this helmet. Being that my microphone is in the inside of this helmet, you guys can hear me better if I just throw it on. Alright guys, welcome to Chaos Scooter Motor Vlogs. Like I was saying, we're right here at the pump. We had to fill up and uh, we're going to go ahead and hit some country and see some beautiful sights. So if you guys want to tune in, I'd be happy to have you. Real quick guys, um, if you, I'm going to ask you guys if you could read my description and if you're able to help out with that, I appreciate it and if not, no worries, I do understand, but uh, if you could, please go to my home my, my homepage where you'll see playlists, you'll see videos about, go underneath the belt and read my description if you would and if you're able to help out with that of any form of way, uh, please uh, do send it my way I'm asking for donations either way of uh, old camera or uh, in cash wise check wise money order but I do need a little help man and uh, taking this channel to the next level so if you would be kindly to read my description I appreciate it and then that guys welcome to the video welcome to the vlog hope you guys are all having a wonderful day tomorrow's Valentine's hope uh, all you couples out there have something planned something special for your guys' Valentine's Relationships are special, man. Even though I'm single, I still think about to the the time I, you know, had my um, significant other there and my family, and it was special, man. It really was. But yeah, happy Valentine's to you guys. I know we're a day early, and I wish you guys the best, man. Man, it's sort of bright out here, huh? Alright, so last time, yesterday I was coming out here to vlog, guys. And it just screwed up the whole vlog. I was I was further out in the country than right now. Because right now I just barely drove out here. A road out here, I mean. But I was way out here doing a vlog yesterday to upload to you guys. And then all of a sudden I realized I was on dead empty. And that stressed me out, so... Oh, man... <laughs> Look at the corner that I broke down in guys. This is where I broke down Anybody that's been watching my content You guys seen the one that I was towed home So I broke down actually at that stop sign right there and I pushed my scooter off right there Then I pushed it from there and at these people's yard, which was right over here And then I thought there was a front door over here. I was gonna knock on the front. See I didn't see that gate But then I actually parked my scooter right in here and waited for the tow truck right here Man, that was my little uh, money that I was saving up for my secondary camera that just went by by for a 14 mile tow it cost me uh, two hundred and ninety three dollars foggy out here not thick well if you look at it midway is thick but down low it's not I love coming out here I've seen a lot of orchards and then some beautiful homes it looks like I'm heading towards town so I think I'm gonna bust the left Is there another left that's coming up? I think I'm actually heading into town now. This ain't no road right here. No. Canal Bank. Alright. We'll find some more country right now. Well, let's just go over the overpass, guys. You look off. No, it's hard to see. You can't see. That there is Colin Kaepernick's uh, mom and dad's house. That yellow house way over there. All right, found some more country, guys.
big old camp trail up there. Turn green, says me and my audience. No, no, she's not going to listen, huh? Well, it should be. There's a car behind me. I'm sitting here by myself. I hate going to a light like this, sitting by myself when it's red, because in the back of my mind, I'm like, this light ain't going to turn for me. But when you got a car with you, yeah, it's going to turn. And there is a car right behind me. A car or two of them. I don't know. I do see one, at least. Flash my lights? No. <laughs> my lights ain't even... Yeah, they're on, but they're not bright. Come on, light. Alright, it's turning yellow. Now it's going to be green for us. Anytime. Here we go. I forgot that I had that yellow, uh, look at my my mask, I got a yellow uh, film that no fog uh, and no glare for nighttime riding, so it's actually helping right now with that bright sun. is always more foggy than town is. That's my road right here that I need. This one right here. I don't want to hit my front brakes in that loose gravel. Once we hit up this curve right here, there's going to be a freeway off to the left side of us. So we're like next to a choo-choo train track and freeway. What's going on here? It's hard to see in this damn thick fog. Beehives are out. Alright, let's slow down a little bit. A little bit foggy out here, guys. Don't know if there's a kid crossing the road. Don't know if there's a dog out in the road. Don't know if there's a car just stuck in the road. But yeah, right here's a safe speed, I believe. I noticed that whenever I'm re reviewing the footage, it doesn't look so foggy. The camera actually sees through the fog a lot better than what I can see. Now which way do we go from here? Left? I'm just guessing guys. I'm just trying to enjoy the ride. Go on new uh, grounds. Somewhere where I have not vlogged before. So, if I sound a little lost guys, it's because I am. <laughs> Some thick fog. I see a stop sign coming. Railroad tracks. That ain't no stop sign. It says railroad tracks. Same thing. Slow the hell down. If there's railroad tracks, you need to slow down. I always check both ways, even though those arms are up. I ain't going to trust my life. Those arms could fail any time, you know?
Should we go on the freeway? Nah, I think I had done that already a couple of times. And it wasn't the smartest move, so I'm not going to go on no freeway. I wanted to do it just for the, the views and whatnot, but I got to be safe, you know? Anybody that does want to see me on the freeway, I do got two videos on my playlist that you guys could go and find. But I think I've learned my lesson to stay off the freeway. Not that anything happened, but it's just sketchy, man. Really sketchy. Hold on. Damn it. Good lord, man. Get one that go that fast over all those bumps, thinking my scooter going to split in half or something. Something going to come loose. Rocking the boat that damn hard. Something bound to come loose or mess up. One of these scooters. Alright, so which way am I going to go? Let's turn the left. I'm a little dangerous driver today, seems like, man. I'm making some uh, last moment calls and it's not the thing to do. green says I uh, the viewers <laughs> man I hate it when the light turns red and whenever you're just going at a good speed roads are nice and empty and the light just happens to turn red and you have to start all over again <laughs> even worse are on a 50 cc but don't get me wrong a lot of 50ccs out there, they do pick up speed really quick, but if you just got a uh, restricted one and, uh, you know, it takes a while to get up there to 40, yeah, you sure don't want to stop and have to start back over. Green lights are always lovely at that point. my horn were you guys able to hear it I barely hear it with my helmet on and all the wind that's going by I could barely hear it at that speed so where am I going from here let's see here so normally I would want to turn right and go to the grocery store but don't need to go to no grocery store this morning anybody's wondering where we're at guys we're now in Turlock California my hometown and we're on Christopherson Way Christopherson Way that's a long old word huh long old name for a road I like it when there's hardly nobody on the road it allows me to sightsee a little bit you know this is our exit 
What road is this? Colorado Avenue? Yeah, we'll go down Colorado. So they're building new homes over here, looks like. Yeah, new homes, legends. Nice area. A lot of nice, beautiful homes in this area. in East Monta Vista still on Colorado I have a subscriber guys if you guys hear me sometimes naming off roads and whatnot a subscriber he used to live over here and he's been asking me if I would name off some roads and I just happen to think about that right now so that's why I'm naming off roads hey look at Kevin Street I have a street named after myself here. East to Wallamy Road. Oh, that's nice. Green for them, red for me. I might just have to turn. I think I will. I'm not going to stay here. I, uh, from my from my past uh, experience, that light does not really like just me sitting there. It won't acknowledge me. And uh, being that I remember that light, I'm not even going to sit there and waste no more time on it. Nor will I run it. Normally what I do when I get stuck at a red light, I go out of the way. I try to do it the legal way, you know? Yield. Or now I got the straight ahead. Go ahead. Arrow means it's my turn to go to turn. Man, every time I pass through this hospital, guys, I look up at this window where I had my last time with my mom, you know? Second floor, first window. That always reminds me of me holding my mom's hand saying bye to her till we meet again. I try to avoid this street because of that, but sometimes I turn down and not thinking about it, and then I pass by that hospital and it just hits me like a ton of bricks. Okay, right up here guys that's going to be called the Ronald McDonald house I used to be a landscaper and this used to be one of our accounts and uh, from what I know that this house here is called the Ronald McDonald house the CEO uh, of some uh, McDonald's down here or somewhere live in this house like a mansion like a small mansion had a lot of grass when I went back there to mow in the backyard I hated it man there was always a lot of dog hair like I think they have German Shepherds but a lot of poop everywhere man I hated mowing lawns with just uh, like a lot of poop you know just disgusting but yeah that was part of my job I guess Or something just laying in the road hmm. 
right here guys is uh, every Tuesday is the sales yard they call it the flea market so we got a flea market every Tuesday sometimes me and my brother we come down here just to hit up the uh, Chinese uh, food truck they usually have Chinese food trucks the chicken on the stick and uh, so pork fried rice we started uh, not getting um, no more chow mein just rice and chicken on the stick good meal right there well guys I'm almost home hope you guys enjoyed the video everybody have a good Valentine's tomorrow for all you lovebirds out there Everybody, I hope everybody's remaining staying healthy and safe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.